I had no other choice, uh -huh. Basil. Are you trying to <laughs> learn about my work? Hmm? Now hold on a minute. Just because I operated on something like that does not mean... <laughs> <that> operated? <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> no, fucking... But no, I, I had to pull the fucking ring out because it was letting uh -huh. little circulation of blood through that given uh -huh. portion of which you know what I'm fucking describing. I don't even say it now because the people are going to get the wrong fucking idea like they're doing now. And... <clears throat> So Whatever happened to that. patient confidential? <laughs> yeah, you just yeah, like <laughs> that hasn't been invented yet. Fuck. Neither have PhDs, but I think he should have his revoked. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it was. Uh... It was a very Stop. harrowing fucking experience. <laughs> Thank so God you're so handy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> it does have good hands, oh but uh, that's true. <laughs> no, I didn't use my hands, I used my clamps. That's, that, that's what we used on that. Well, <laughs> the next time I have a oh, cock-related injury, I know who to go to. No, you said last time that had anything to do with that he was not allowed to do so. <laughs> you said that last time. Are you and that you wanted that? to kill yourself if that happened. He's yeah. In fact, you even told him to kill you. Yeah, if I have No, even. he no, what what happened last time is that you said something about needing to use a bone saw on this guy's nuts, right? I said if that ever has to happen yeah, to me, I'd prefer it if you just kill me. Again, that's because I didn't have the fucking scalpel with me whatsoever. We had to use something, and then I had resorted mm, to... Hmm, I can't use a scalpel, so maybe I should use a knife? No. A fucking broken. bone saw? No How do you not have, like, three knives on you at all time? How does, it no How does anyone not have that? Put your clothes back on. Because he needs you. It? All right, it's time. <sighs> Come on, Sarah. Time. Oh, we're gonna oh, make no, some no, more no, cock-related no, injuries. No. <laughs> Fuck no, yeah. Fucking no. I love her. Shut up. Never mind. Right. No, finish what you're going to say. <laughs> no. Before you think you I see like something out of the corner of your eye from the Not wall, banned. but as soon as you turn, they're gone. <sighs> well. Best of luck, you guys. Oh, you feel free to stop by at the bathhouse after. <laughs> Before you go, <laughs> fucking... Look at the way you're sitting. Of course he's going to be laughing at you. Look at you. No, I was looking at you. You fucking <laughs> leant back and you went... Like, one of them like that. <laughs> I saw it. You think I didn't fucking see it? What do you want, so <laughs> Look, Listen, alright. He's gonna go take out a little scroll. Only you continue talking. Are you sure? Uh, you can meet me inside. My leg is broken. That is the sketches and everything needed for the syringe. Instructions and all. Handy. Thank you. Alright, I'll leave you guys. My mom was the one that made that. He preferred, uh, he even said that he would pitch in to try and help if needed be. Very good. Especially for the glass portion of it. Alright, well, good luck with the rest of the night, you two. Well, you three. Miss Red. <laughs> Have a good night if I don't see you. <clears throat> Lego. Madame. Too slow. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma ma what am I? What? Sir. It's sir and madame, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a sir. <laughs> Right. I think the crack was like over here somewhere. Yeah, the amount of times I've heard that. Yeah. Oh. You okay, Basil? I thought I saw someone up on the. Maybe it was a guard. Yeah, only guards are meant to be up there. They were looking at me. 
Stay with Soma tonight. Well. Don't go alone. Yeah. I can't. Well, stay somewhere oh, where... Whoa, what? Huh? Whoa. You open the door very slowly, and before you open it all the way, you catch a glimpse of men surrounding your father. They don't seem to notice you yet as you peek inside, but it looks like one of them is beginning to head toward the door. It looks like probably to block it. Whoa, did you see that? There was like at least two of them in there. Come here. Fuck. A Go chill on. runs down your spine upon seeing this. Too many keys, too many people, too mm. many security risks. And my duty lies as Gerdar be my witness. I will find glory before I find death. <laughs> two things right DM he is going to try and hit the light mm -hmm. to his right see if he can blind the two in front of him crawling With a 13 plus 2, you swipe your sword to the right, turning a spark. <laughs> there is a flash, and the men in front of you all take a step back as they are staggered. Metal on metal. <laughs> Sounds like violence. <laughs> Corner him! We need him alive! Alive! From behind. <laughs> 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 Okay, all right. Yeah, sure. I'm using my flash powder. All right. You take the flash powder out, wringing it out of your hand, flinging it forward with a two. However, you're not expecting just how fast it comes out, and everyone in this area is blinded all at once. <laughs> Fuck! Back up! We know the house! Don't spin! Back up! I hope one of you got help before you came in here, right? You didn't just charge in, right? Let's go, company. Oren! Sarah up the stairs. Fighting against this man, he seems to be an equal match with you. With a seven, he is slowly gaining ground, pushing you back, back, further and further. But with a fourteen, he slices a shoulder pad. Your arm is cut, but it holds. <sighs> Yeah. 
Let him leave. Okay. With a seven, you go to try and stop him and trip him, but he careens out the door. Do I get a roll too? <laughs> Let's see. That's the second time someone's just completely blanked me. Sounds like you have a lot of friends here, Alden. <laughs> I don't know where. Alright. You trip him just outside the door. Drop it! We've got your leader inside. I need more about your jewels. Ow! With your dagger with a 14, you're able to subdue the man who stab into his arm, a ghost limp, and he wails in agony. You can stop this. <laughs> With a natural 20, he's not doing anything. Your punches, in fact, pff, knock him clean out before he gets a chance. He's still alive. trying to insult men that were fleeing you said he hit one my lord uh, i was not trying to insult you i'm trying to insult you right here you're trespassing you not really on me spit on a clay you fucking heavy oh, fuck come on yeah that's where you're going uh, fish i'm already hard one on one to get oh god <sighs> God here says he's looking for you. He said, I'm here for the blacksmith. Watch over them. I'll be right back. The thing just showed him out. Sorry about that. You did good. What are you sorry for? Um, obliterated oh. my desk. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. Minimal damage.
Shriek, you take a look around the room. Some of the tapestry is <clears> torn, <throat> the sheets, the bed, everything. When you pass by your rooms, both <clears throat> of them were open. Both of them ransacked. You look back to the door, the locks here have been pried off. These people spared no accents turning <clears throat> an entire house upside down for something. I'm gonna need an injury roll. I took a hit to the leg. Roll it. Your armor is leather, plus two. With a four plus two, that is a six for a major. Your leg is bleeding very heavily, soaking into the rug. Fuck. Mm. <sighs> that does not look very good. Is he going to take an advanced healing potion? <clears throat> 17 plus 2 potion will go down easy and the cut in your leg will cease to bleed as the blood clots it still stings <sighs> but you'll live <sighs> just gonna whisper to you go grab me two cups of water please <clears throat> yep his mouth as he coughs. This doesn't seem to be the position in that you thought you were going to be, does it? Put you next to your friend here. Wake up! You have questions to answer. said you were in no position to negotiate this is how we're going to do things I'm going to ask you questions and you're going to answer those questions because I'm not going to kill you I'm going to take my time with you no one's going to come in here nobody cares the guards think you're all dead your friends bodies are on the street they're collecting them no one knows you're fucking here I don't care if I have to take limbs. I don't care. If... Blood splatters <laughs> across your face. Oh, a black <laughs> Not going to need that, are we? <laughs> now I have the means to help you. Pain and agony. But there's no guarantee that I will unless I get what I want. And you're going to answer my fucking questions! And I don't care how long this fucking takes! I don't care how much of you I need to break! Because I will! Now! Somebody sent you! Who was it? Because I won't let you bleed you out. I will heal you. I'm friends with the apothecary, my boy. I will maim you and heal you and maim you over and over and over again. <laughs> um, as you stab into the man over and over, beat him over and over, blood pours from his head, from his side, and you begin to hear him drowning <laughs> with a natural one. Perhaps you're too good for your own good. It looks like the man Thank you. is quickly dying. Bring me one of the potions I have saved. I'll force it down his fucking throat. Savor oh, this feeling. No, you, you never expect anything to happen. Savor this feeling. I mean, I'll think about it. Oh, you must. 
do next? and ninety. Right? You are fucking next. You said come to my fucking home. Fear for my, my fucking family. A die in a profession of young, but you're black. Keep his head back. <laughs> Squeeze his fucking throat so he can't stop it. With 19, the potion will go down. <laughs> The man still gurgles, trying his best to force it back through your fingers, but you will hold. Oh, and you his will bleeding live. cease for now. You will live. Good thing we stocked up before this. We can do this all fucking night if you want to. I've got 19 of those, and I'm at my wit's end. I will do this for as long as I must. Let's do it again, shall we? Who sent you? You'll be ended. Don't worry. You understand? Still not convinced. I don't understand. He's. He's supposed to be a blacksmith. I think it is. Anything of what you do, very good me, one. they will do ten times worse. Who sent you? Oh, I've missed that. I think that when I find out oh. who sent you, I'll either be able to pay them off or kill you them know, myself. You know, people That's don't answer questions. My whole life. No, 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 no. I've survived Stop sinking under the fucking pillows. Think like that. This is not luxury. Fucking things. fool. <clears throat> Let me ask you a question. You don't You're know. You're obviously me. involved in what oh, you do. Uh, prices to be paid. Nothing more. These are cups you brought up from downstairs? You see. If I gave you some coin, would you talk? Good. Just between you and me. It is not a matter of coin. <clears throat> You'll be paying with your not life if you don't. Do this. Would you like some water? <laughs> <clears throat> don't be afraid of them. I don't care if I have to butcher him and let you walk free. One of you will crack, and you'll get to live. People disappear in Grady all the time. They're not always dead. You could survive this. Very unlikely it's you. Let me ask you a question. Do either of you know what malice is? Yeah. That's the idea. What about you? You look smart. It's a poison. Ah, yes. It's a poison. Almost. A bit more than that, isn't it? If left unattended, it will poison someone, yes. But what it does... <laughs> is it pours down your esophagus and begins to liquefy your insides. Stomach acid starts pouring out into your body cavity, and it takes 15, 20 minutes for you to fully die. It is a horrifying, terrifying experience, unless you get the antidote. Need a roll, DM. Rolling. With a seven, you are very forceful with the cup. You bring it right up to his face, try and shove it down. He keeps his mouth closed as best he can. Some of the liquid will inevitably get in, and his mouth will begin to burn and dissolve. But it's not as much as you want. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. <clears throat> now the other cup is the one that doesn't have malice in it. It's the antidote. And you have a few minutes before you start to feel that pain. And I have a full vial of it. I can just keep healing you. And I will keep ripping you apart. 
over and over and over again. Downstairs, Aegon. Drugs. But if you tell me what Shards I want, glass litter the floor. I'll give you the other cup. I will. You're just some low-paid thug. I don't need to kill you. I, I think I'll never return. But the bloodhound will come calling for you. Let them come. You tell me what I want to know, and I will let you go. <laughs> you only have a few minutes, boy. <laughs> Even if you let me go, yeah, you revive me. This is paltry to what he'll do to me. You lack creativity. Are you a coward or not? You are being even told you could die, or you can try to survive. Are you going to lay here and die, or are you going to fight to live and be given the chance to walk away? You're gonna roll over for me? Because that's fine, I'll move on to him. And he seems he'll give me what I want. That means you're guaranteed dead. I give you to him. And if you know anything about Drow, he has accepted the same fate as me. I guarantee you, he won't. Two minutes. Mm. Who sent you? I only look in the man's eyes. They're glazed over. His face is no longer taut with anger. No longer taught with fear. It looks like he's accepted his state. <laughs> Feeling defeated, old man. Is defeated? No. Fear. I just didn't want to get blood <clears throat> on my rug. <laughs> Next. We'll see if you do better than he did. He seems like a nice man. Somebody obviously sent you. I don't give a fuck what you... Shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck what your job was. I don't have a problem with you. Grotty is grotty after all. But what you tell me makes a difference between if you walk or you stay here and die. Slow. You either have a chance from running from your prior employer, or I torture you for days until I figure out that maybe you won't tell me. And then I'll do something exceptionally awful because I'm angry I didn't get what I wanted. I'll tell you what you want to know. I'm listening. And you kill me. No, it's not an if, it is. You execute me here, in this room. I have no intention of killing you, if you tell me what I want to know. It's what I want. <laughs> you want you me to no kill sin. you? I'll get out of this building alive. I'm going to die. If I don't have you... ...and him. That's why that one... ...wasn't willing. So what you're asking for is to die quick, because whatever he will do will be horrendous. Is that what you're saying to me? Yes. Luckily for you, I am an no, honorable man. Check if you two have made it to the house. <clears throat> and then he came back out and told me to come. If I can give you answers, oh well. But he knew most of it. I'm sure he did. But he won my patience. Sure you two made it back to the house. So, who sent you, and why? A broker in Corcatus.
fucking vague. Very. <laughs> you're not given names when you're running through dealing with things like this. Okay, whereabouts did you have this conversation? Organization, a place, something of use. <clears throat> a larger family. One of the larger families. Run into issues larger with Larger families. In the free war. Yeah. Someone was importing goods. No noble families. Mm. Those that yes. work underneath. I see. Sounds like a very tight knit family. Well, I had this name Bloodhound. Who was this person? Uh, yeah, Bloodhound. Yeah. <clears throat> One more. They lack my brain. Make sure I don't get anything wrong. So I don't <clears throat> get that. You get worse than that, my friend. Yeah, I'll be no, honest, he was dead anyway. That. It was just to make you talk. Hold this for me. Yeah, so... The Bloodhound... ...is a very old, very, very weathered mercenary. He's just something that, you know, people in this field talk about. Meant to give you a scare. Brutally efficient. And excellent at tracking anyone down. Mind you, he's assumed, you know, just to be a story. Something that empty threats men like us through. But, uh, I can assure you one thing, he's very, very real. And very expensive. Very, very expensive. You all saw what seems to be a pretty penny. To gain someone's attention enough for him and his name to be brought out here. In the open. Hmm. All right. Seems like a veteran who's dedicated to what it is. But is his craft. I was serious. I am offering you freedom. You truly don't want it. Considering what he is. The fact that I failed to get you and him. Death and whatever you said that malice was. I'd be a mercy. It was water. Uh, from what I heard from Mass. That's probably what he had been using. Malice is terrible, and I do have it, but I had no intention on wasting it on cell swords. Tread lightly. Correct. Why should I? Any big target. Not paid just yet. I'm not I think the idea that I will if someone's gonna kill me, it should be him, considering I did stab him in the leg. How much for you to keep an extra eye on Tony? You said if you left here, they would kill you. Well, do terrible things to you. Hmm. Why'd you run? I mean, the torch is gonna be there. I didn't know. Fool's gamble. Then take another one. Well, I'm gone. And I will warn you this. We found you fairly easily. Yes, the person who gave us away told me. They're a fool. <clears throat> this is your last chance. I can give you a healing potion and send you on your way. If this man's as good as you say is, he'll find me anyway. He won't need you. You want to take a fool's gamble? I'll give you that chance. If you say no to me now, I will not offer it again. Very well. 
to be safer. Those men were really intent on getting away. They were firing arrows at me from the back of the fucking carriage. Already hmm. dead men. Very well. You are a man of wonderful. Good is for more than armor work. Would you at least let me stand? As you wish. Word of advice for you. If you have that stuff, I'd get rid of it and fast. They come back. Is that That's ironic, Paul. We never did. Those two are mine. I mean, we got rid of him. Slip throat is fast. I was um, questioning that as well. On my right back. Oh, Basara forgives you and me. The warm blood sprays <laughs> around the arm. They weren't expecting around the wall, the man slumps down. Those two that I Small, in the slow gurgles. And silent. Do we have a problem? Yeah. A big <clears throat> fucking problem. At least we know now who the Capitano was dealing with. Well, I'm glad I put the first one over the vase, but the second one spilled a bit on the floor. Let's throw them outside with the rest of them. Pat them down, see if there's anything on them that you need. You're coming with me. Oh, God. Fucking fat piece of shit. I can't use anything more than blades, I don't know. Anything that doesn't have a long headed blade, I um, well, if you ever want like to know, I can feet. get you somewhere with it. Not as good as me, but uh, not that interesting to me. Might be trouble outside. The guards were pissy. Good. Don't care. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Ah. Ah, there are ways. I thought that was all of them. It Two was. apparently died. It seems the runaways came them. back. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Although the ones outside were grabbed. Uh. I need to question both of you. As you wish. The lieutenant is on his way. First, Toma. All right. We'll hold the fort for you. Well, I'm. I'm oh, wait, hold you on, too. hold on. All right, okay. Did you? Uh, uh, did you already get pixies on these? I didn't I did. do anything to that. Hold on. What'd you say? I did. Yes. <laughs> you can have a look, though. That's gonna be bitch. See if I missed anything. Get him out of here. Can't stop getting blood on you. Yeah. Kimchi Jack, anything? Does the ED version of that word <laughs> All right. still affect Come on. Go it? Go Take on. care of the rest. Thanks. Do you need a rag? Uh, busted. Kimchi. I looted those guys. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, I wasn't here. Uh, you can't fix oh, everything, my friend. Exactly <laughs> Introduction and all that. Is there a place place quietly? Nothing more than their weapons. I mean, he could use my place. It's right around the corner. Mm, rolling. Oh, oh god! Guards with a six. Yeah, that's all. Blacksmith. But no, um, Guardsman, you can use my place, it's just around the corner. It's secure. I'll always the true feeling of malice. <laughs> this is. Who all was involved besides you and the blacksmith? What do you mean? Just us. Well, uh, you've got blood all over you, and, uh, it's. What happens when you kill you've people? You've got blood on his sword, so who else was involved? The people that we killed inside the house. Just. 
It was just the two of so us. So it was uh, just you and the blacksmith, and you killed all those people. Well, most of them ran. Damn Skippy. <laughs> Damn Skippy. Well, you must you must be some blacksmiths. Oh, I was huh? sit on the broken safe. Come on, I was I spending a long time. Uh, uh, if I were to do that, the I'm sitting in the grass and stool over there. Right, we'll go to the builders. Oh, I'm used to sit on the ground. I'm sorry. Alright, my better. Good on you. Let's go. This is not a what I said. Spot. It's a forge. Hmm? What doing? No. What, what I said. Where it breaks your arms. I know what Malice does. Yes, please not. Let's not do interrogations in the middle of the street. Um, if you don't mind. Please. He might. Well, the builder really lives in a shithole. Alright. The two of you are going to explain to me what the fuck just happened. Because I know that at least, at least four people went in there. Maybe five, maybe six. I don't know, some of them came out in fucking pieces. Now, some of your friends identified those bodies. Oh, that's right. They were dead collectors, uh, we no? Are aware. I'm going no, around sir. looking for you. It was a front for debt collection. I reason to believe they were connected to the wagon collection. we brought back for the Carter's Guild. Is that so? They were asking about contents of the wagon, but when we found the wagons, they were empty. There was just bodies mercenaries and bandits around. Those were the wagons the Capitano had us look over now. Yes, and that's the one that he did. Found out that the uh, Carter's Guild had it. Apparently he broke down the door or something and investigated. I see. So how would they know your faces? You brought them back. We didn't hide coming back with the wagon, so we came through the front gate. We weren't doing anything illegal. It was a job for the Carters Guild. No reason to hide, sir. I understand. When blood is spilled in the streets like this, I walk down the main boulevard, and I hear the clashing of swords inside a building. It becomes the business of the Naughty City Guard, do you understand? Of course. You can look in my home. They ransacked everything. They destroyed my furniture, broke down all my doors. They destroyed it. I will be looking in your home. And I will be preparing, er, preparing a formal report of this. All of this to the custode. We understand. The bodies are being burned in the arena. Are either of you injured? Is anybody injured? I'm fine, sir. I'm all good. How did they get in? As I said, <clears throat> one of the doors were bashed down. When I went in there, I saw things all over the place. I walked in, I yelled out for my apprentice, thinking he might be home and be able to explain it. And this man came downstairs and started questioning me about the contents of the cart. Never explicitly said who sent him, or why, or what was there. Just, we know you're lying, we know you have our money, so on and so forth. Like, I don't fucking know who you are. I see. Next time that that happens, and your door is fucking broken down, you come to us. You'll All right, forgive if you, me, if you sir. Weren't the, the last... If you weren't the two most... Uh, Oh. The last two times that happened, it was because of the guard. I assumed it was a Capitano again. Fair enough. I understand. Well then, you gentlemen are very lucky that you're so skilled with your sword arms. You've been outnumbered and ambushed in your own home. That's exactly it. It was our own home. We knew it. They didn't the advantage home ground thankfully if it was in the streets well mm. I will say All right. 
They did press me hard, asking me if I spoke to the Capitano. So whatever you and guys you are cracking down on... you said that you have no knowledge on, of what that means. I have no clue what that means. Whatever you are all cracking down on, somebody's feeling the pain. I have an inkling. All right. That's all I have for the two of you. Go back to if your home. If there's any Get further questions, we will cooperate. And I will reach out to you if any questions uh, become available. Can we, uh... Thank you, sir. Do you mind if we have a name so we can reach out to you if anything pops up? Of course. I'm Private Delordos. Delordos. Thank you, sir. Very well, Delordos. Thank you, sir. Alright, let's go. Oh, wow. Did you say darker than a drow's taint? That's what I said. That's hilarious. Now, no questions. Your friend wants to see you, and it is now or never. Right. Okay. Get your horse. Bring them here. Yep. Uh, okay, buddy. I know we've not done this yet, but... Okay, good to know. Dredge. Yeah, but that wasn't my horse, that was quote unquote someone else's horse. Yeah. Oh. Hey there. Howdy. Where's to zoom? Hey, who's o who's owning this fucking horse? Did someone spawn this and then not fucking use it? Hey, I did use it. I wrote it. It's my fucking name. You return this one. 
No. I have a blacked out this, horse. This is my horse. <laughs> you fucking talk to Arn about it, motherfucker. Same horse. Then you put that one away and I'll use this one. I literally have this <laughs> same horse. Oh my god. <laughs> Children, please. I'll see you later. This I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fucking for arrogant cut. <laughs> Just get on the fucking horse. It doesn't matter Just right get now. On the horse. Kind of it it's fine. I see that your horse is as you rode it. Okay? It's black, yes. I it's a blacked it. out horse, yes. Yes. Yeah, and here's to me Shall not seeing race, all right? The horse is doing fine. You're doing fine. Shall yeah. I swear to God, if they're not there when we get there, you can't blame me. Huh. Mm. Um, is there something I can help with? I can, I can get a horse. No. Oh. oh. I'm your own I know. Is there a horse? I think we're a little low on horses what? right now. No. Understood. We'll be on our way then. Sure. Why doesn't he just ride with you, huh? Oh, with me? Do you also eat veggies? What the fuck? Pay him no money, you not? fucking idiot. Alright, there he is. <sighs> Alright, you stick with us if you get lost in the dark. I'll just uh, stay with them, I guess. What do you mean? You're coming. Yeah, I know. I'm riding the horse, though. You're riding, bitch. Currently. <laughs> Come back! Oh god, I can't fucking see! <laughs> You're in front of me! How about, how about we switch? Okay, fine. I was all comfy. Fine. <laughs> Go on. Uh, yep, I'm on. Adjust yourself. You are here, right? Yep. Okay. This is totally my normal blacked out horse. Aegon totally didn't steal my real one. Quote unquote. If this is what I think it is, this is huge. Uh, I have an inkling. Oh, yeah. You sure this is good to be getting into? When is it ever, my son? Well, like I said, now or never. We're already warmed up for a fight anyway. That's... Exactly. Full of fear and elation. <clears throat> I have flash powder, we can break and run if need be. It's not running that I'm afraid of. If this is what I think it is, this is someone I haven't seen in three decades of my life. Crenshaw? I think so. Mm hmm. Crenshaw was an advisor to King Renel. He was the most trusted servant of the king and his house. He is the one that I entrusted with the heir. I thought he was part of your house. No. Huh. We worked very closely together for a long time. But he was not part of my house, no. He came with the men of my house. He was the only one to have survived. Most of the royal family's staff died. We're late. 
fashionably so, I hope. You just better hope they're still in the building. This way. Did they give you a time limit? One second. They said immediately. And we are not so immediate. Well, you'll forgive me, but I just got done getting attacked by eight men in my fucking house. Sounds like fun. Yes, well, I don't think it'd be fun for you. <laughs> no, I don't doubt you're wrong. By the way, before we walk in there, you never told me the name of your group. Uh, the Gilded Chain. Smaller than most of these big groups. But each Smaller gilded but smart. Arm, right? hmm. If we can help it. Not like Sordillo, but you don't need more than just the right tool for the right job. <clears throat> Side. You're in with me. Da. Yes, sir. to you. It's been a little while, my lord. <laughs> Crunchyl. You madman, you buffoon. <laughs> lord, heard you heart, it lord. is good to see you. Good to see you, indeed. I am... both relieved and I have so many questions. Well, I... hope to illuminate you as best I can, but... I will not be doing so alone, either. Uh, a moment. Uh, my lady... He has arrived. Uh, Lord Erdhart. My lady. It is Lady Orlina Omre. House Omre. Yes. My lady, you were but a child when I had seen you last. How we grow when things are tantric. <laughs> so it would seem. My heart is gladdened to see you and hear that the Armory House is still intact. More or less. Things have become difficult across the land. I believe it. But it seems your father has remained steadfast then, if you are here. His body may be broken, but his spirit is not. He always was a true leader. But what brings yes, yes, you here, of all people? The same thing that keeps all of our people going. The hopes in which we can work together to restore the air. Once I heard word of you, it was everything that I could do to drop what it was the fallacy of me kneeling to the Empire. <clears throat> I don't have to I am gladdened to see you both, but I must ask, the heir, I thought he was in your care. The heir was in my... in our care, as to a few months ago. 
There was a raid in Wazer Harbor where we were keeping him. And we were driven to flee. And from as something or someone was hunting us. We are not sure yet if it is of imperial nature or something else. But they were certainly skilled with their steel. Took us both by surprise. <sighs> when we were separated, there was another, uh, the Gunther, the Navarre. Younger man who was in my service. I had the heir in their care when we were separated. Is he a man that can be trusted? Mm -hmm. I trust them, yes. With the connections that I have been making here in Gordia. By pure chance, I ran into the lady here. So she told me she was looking for ten years for you. In a place you were not, Ireland. Quite a lot of we them were in, We were in Ireland for quite some time. Myself and Sir Richter were all that had remained originally. They were unsuccessful. Everyone else was hunted down by the Inquisition, I'm afraid. I see. <sighs> Not many I have left. Been... A good question. Though I am surprised to see someone from the next generation of lords and ladies has come to our aid and to the aid of King Reynolds' son. There are many that would be content to bend the knee, Lord. However, from my father's tales of what was, one could say, inspired me to wish for more than just beating the force conscription upon our people. That will not last. He has told me of small uprisings and things that have been going on in Gwyn, but they get snuffed out very quickly. They have been under control for been, 30 years. There's been a larger one in Astagon. I've heard of this recently. They have Astagon. seized several keeps and burned granaries of the garrisons. The people are rest of yet. Let's get taken from. There is hope. With details I can go into, but I have been unkind. I should explain something. Come forward, boy. This is probably a bit of a surprise to you, but I have been through many hardships. In these last 30 years, trying to complete this mission. And I had found someone that had meant, over time, everything to me. That has bled for me, bled for our cause. And acted and behaved just like my late son. Qualities of a good lord, a good boy. This is my adopted son, Kyla Erdart, as sworn in front of Sir Rister of my court, with the proper documentation written up. He is honorable and steadfast, battle-worthy, much to learn, of course, but he is my son. It's a pleasure to meet you. Finally, Kyla Erdhart. I've heard a lot about you. My name is Crenshaw. Lady Almeray. Pleasure. You'll forgive us for showing up as such a mess. As I said, many things have been happening, and we just had an attempt on our lives. Not by what you would think. It is Gradia, after all. Something driven by coin, then, I would imagine. Nothing from back home. It is. 
It is a long conversation, but one that is needed. And with you both being here, I believe that this town can be turned into a launching pad for our own needs. I have been trying to do this. Friends, yes, but with no one from Gwen. Mm. I feel far more capable with such names at my side. What was the lady's name again? <clears throat> the Lady sooner we can get our hands on a ship. Before. I will be here for whatever you need, Lord. I should be happy to have you in my service, Lady Armory. Armory. But I will not <clears throat> forget which house responded when King Reynolds' son needed it most. But these are promises for in the future. First is the here and now. I understand that you have been moving around a great deal, trying to lay low. We have a safe place in Nordis. It is hidden in the middle of it all. But we have a web of allies, elves, dwarves, even a hobbit, if you believe. Good people, all of them. <laughs> you have been busy then, even in my absence. Mm. This is good. I will be relying on you, Grunshaw. Heavenly. Mm. As someone to bounce ideas off of. And I will have need of your sword and courage, Lady Emery. My father's work will not go to West, I assure you. She is quite capable. I've, no I've seen him in combat myself. You have nothing to worry about. I have no worries at all. I'm quite pleased. <clears throat> Oh. You will excuse me, it has been some time. It has, yes. There was a bit more regarding Gunther and the air. I'm listening. Now, there are a few places that they that can be uh, met up at, but any clues to that would be back in Weza Harbor proper. Gunther himself was a son of a guardsman in Ireland who had lost his family in the siege of Ambershire, from what I understand. And he was drawn in by the rumors there, eventually crossing paths with myself. I did my own digging around in Ambershire. Could not find you. That was until later, as you know. It was a gamble to try and kill the Inquisitor that had taken so much from us. We had him cornered, mm. but I will admit... He was so far close. more powerful than I believed. At the time, I had... I have some loyal men with me. Not all of them have made it. I see. Sir, Gregor has been killed in action. The first <sighs> ranger of my house. I can know just... God had heart. He was a good man. And Sir Richter has gone missing. Where? I know, I know not. Where exactly, I'm not sure. But he was taking a risk and entreating with the elves. A house, the second most powerful house of Eshmethalos, one of their descendants. Mirandel Thessalor is one of my friends, going under another pseudonym in town. Should he gain control of his house in the future, he will be a great boon to us all. And he is a friend, so I trust his judgment. Mm -hmm. All right. We can work with that. That's good. Right. Hopefully, Sir Richter is still around and alive. I will wait but... for as long as I can, but before it comes winter, I intend to sail. I have secured the clan of Northmen, a few hundred willing to come with us. I have also secured an entire clan of dwarves, led by a reckoner who is willing to fight to the death on our behalf. And we are raising as much gold as we can to take as many mercenaries with us as well. When we land in Astagon, it will be for once and for all. 
We will not be beaten back and come mm-hmm. back. It is a one-way trip, either or. But we can speak about that later. For now, I would like to bring you to this safe place. Of course. Uh, there is much to be done. And much to but be discussed. What we have left now? If winter is our deadline. It is. We have a few months at most. And the biggest question is ships. But we can talk about that in the war room. Hmm. You have one. I I have one. It is good (laughs) to see you both. Truly. Mm. My father sends his guards. I look forward to the day that we march outside of his keep, and I may thank him myself. Let us return to Nordis. Of course. Are you sure you were not noticed? Has there been anyone following you since the attack? Hmm. Wakey, wakey. Ah, and they are. Right then. We will be returning back. I assume this is where the contract ends. Yes. Yeah, we just need to escort you back to Nottis. Yes. We'll need a few more horses if we're able to secure them. Might be just too much attention. It be- might be better off with just us two. They go. can stay here. Understood. Are you able to contact them? I've come to grow fond of these gilded chains. Yes. Yes, they're normally around here in Cassetto. If not, they make their rounds in Nautis sometimes. They know what to look for now. Good. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Good. Remember. What did you see here? Nothing. 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 I don't even remember. I don't even remember why I came over here. You enjoyed the sounds of the sea. Got carried away with some drinks, and now it's night time. Of course. Uh, Speaking of drinks, let's go get some lads. Let us go. It's been a good match. I give up. That's just sad. It is. Then we brought a torch. As I'm sure you can tell, we've gotten a little tired of hiding. (laughs) There is a few plots in place to try and gain power here as a noble to be protected by guardian laws and their council. I'd be in a better position if I was able to get my hands on properties and secure passive income that way to build up enough money for us to gain a ship. this horse here. Do not us. Do not us then. That's a new technique. <laughs> when can I ride like that? You never. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I haven't seen you smile this wide in a long while. <sighs> that is because for the first time in 30 years, I have hope. Good. The armories have always been a loyal house in service to House Erdart. The Lord Armory to send his own daughter. There are still people waiting, my boy. There are still people waiting for this to happen. Still those waiting to rise up. My biggest fear was that I had taken too long. There is hope. Ewan stands firm. Do you remember our motto? Honor and wisdom. We lead. Exactly. Kind of the leading part, I guess. That's right, my boy. They had something to rally behind. And I dare say. <sighs> Though I am worried, the air. He's in the care of a one Gunther. Apparently this man is an Aralandi, but if Crenshaw says he's good, there is zero question to it. Yeah. We're going to have to put things together and make our way to Wazer Harbor as soon as possible. Okay. I uh, have some history there I should tell you about. All counted for. That is all right. I will take the lead, so you know where we're going. Hi. He whispers, told you just spotted us, which means we're probably expecting a visit from Vesrum. Possum. <laughs> Getting up the horse is hard. There you are, my lady. Sharik. Hmm. Put the horses in the stable close to it. If you two would come with me. No. I fucking knew it. As soon as I saw fucking Torty. What? What? I saw Torty and I leaned over to Tazim and said, We're probably going to get a visit from Vezrin soon. <laughs> it's okay, they're friends. Allies, friends. They need to catch up, though. Is this person a friend? <laughs> That's rude. 
I, I don't know who this is. <laughs> uh, Lady Hala. Of the Carter's Guild. Oh, you have a caravan here. <sighs> Usually about <sighs> three feet taller, so I beg your pardon. Standing watch for us. Both of us were, practically. I think we're okay now. Thank you, though. Mm. It is all right. I'm sure the danger is gone by now. I will go to my bed. I think. Thank you, Aegon. Good night, Aegon. Good night. See you all. You're right. Yeah, I was just waiting up. Okay. Father asked. These are. Uh, are you okay? You're kind of. That's from earlier. It's okay. fine. Oh, okay. I got to, uh. I got to deal with this. It's okay. They're friends, but it needs to be a little private for now. We'll fill you in later. Right. What the fuck? Well, I'm going to bed. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I put my hand up in my face. Yeah, Stealing my fucking thunder. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we'll fill you guys in later once we figure everything else out. Don't worry, you're not being kept in the dark. Just need to, you know, work through it all, okay? Yeah, yeah. Uh, your father told me to stay up, so I will be outside. Don't worry. Oh, God. Just enjoying the quiet. Oh, fucking bed. All right. You're welcome up on the balcony if you need it, okay? All right. Are you coming with me? Oh, ah, yes. <laughs> All right. I'll be alright if I get tired, I'll go home. Christ. If I don't see you, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't even have it on me. Okay. Yeah, just let him know I'll I'm out here whenever out you're done. And Got I'll it. You, okay? Did a talk or something? You're going to. I think that any evidence there might be would be within Wazer itself. If not in the surrounding area, yes. It would be a good start, no matter what. And that is what we will plan upon, but for now we must consolidate. <sighs> Gonna change out of this real quick, if that's okay. Go ahead. Um, Sarah's outside waiting if you need her, she said. You wanted her to stay. She's able to come in if she wants. Understood. Well, unless you don't think it's a good idea yet. I, uh, I told everyone that we were figuring things out before we got them on the same page, but if you're happy to have her in, then that's fine by me. Then we can wait. Okay. I will be selfish, as these are people I have not seen in some time. That's what I figured. They are my countrymen. Lots of catching up to do. I'll be right down. I need a pee. I need a pee pee. A lot of maneuvering in the harbors will do that. Especially when everyone's out for coin. <clears throat> Time and again, I would get this close to think a deal is good. Ah, crossed at the last second. Harder to come by trustworthy people in this country rather than back home. There's very little honor to be had in this place. Very little. And what of you, Lady Armory? Your journey must have been arduous to meet up with Grimshaw. I can't say that Island hospitality is my flavor, especially when looking for someone who does not want to be found. You need not stay in cloaks. No one you would have to hide from. I guess I'll just stay in cuffs then, probably. Or those four. Most of our days are with our hotel. So it is that this night around here is the strongest. It is even, and so I understand fully. <coughs> the people in the web. I'll let you take the lead then. I, I, there's lots of people that I have met in Ireland. They know me as <laughs> odd. If 
you believe it, I've been working as a blacksmith for the past several years of my life. Significant amount of dirt on your skin. We all do what we must for the king and his son. So I must humble myself and so be it. It is no skin off my back. But yes, there have been a great number of good people I've come across thankfully. So tell me, Kyla, how did you come to meet Lord Erdhart? <clears throat> I was a street urchin in a town called Ledford in Ireland. <laughs> Humble beginnings and all that, I suppose. He, I believe it started with pity, took me in, taught me a few things, and when I eventually asked to take his name, he agreed. And I've been working hard to uphold it ever since. Sounds just like him. <laughs> Does he do this often? Mm. No, but it sounds like something he would do. Always had a soft spot. Huh. I only have stories. I've never met him in person. My father speaks highly of him, though. Forgive As it me. was mentioned, she hmm? has grown up under the occupation. She does not know, has not seen what the time was before, like myself or your father. Then I have his stories. She and I are of the same generation, then. No? Hmm. Suppose so. We're all getting gray and getting old. <laughs> and once we're gone, all that will be left are stories. And it's just going to be up to the next generation if they believe them or not. That's why we're so adamant job, to go back. Make sure that there isn't anything <sighs> to believe in but to see. Right. If what your father says is true about Astagon, then we might even see some of it on our way back to Giwen as we go across the sand. I heard the rumors myself. That would be good to see. Uprisings, they were burning down granaries and the such. Sounds like they're serious about it, mm. but you know how quickly they snuff out that kind of thing. Might be over by now. It's true, but... But if it's somewhere in Astagon, it's not something where the front line is. Anything there would be just enough to keep it running. Skeleton garrisons, anything like that. Enough to where if there is an uprising, there's too much momentum, they will fold. And then it would be up to the Empire to come and take it back if they are serious about it. Mm -hmm. However, the fact that it's happening means that it's not a stranglehold that we once thought. There's still hope. That's what's important. Agreed. Because if there's no hope, no morale whatsoever, then it would be much more difficult to create that momentum. We were That's walking into this hear. feeling like we were going to have to fight tooth and nail for it. But, well, if the rumors are true. There is still a fight. Do not be misunderstood about the situation. Not embarrassing yourself, I hope. Trying not to. Perhaps you could adjust the posture a little bit. I'm sure that with you here, Lady Armory, his posture will be more rigid than it ever has. <laughs> I'm sure there is still some dutiful mindness in him. 
I would actually ask that in the days to come, perhaps you spar with him. I think he's gotten too used to me. He beat me a few days ago, a week or so ago. As long as you do not mind me bruising your boy. Payne's no, a good I teacher. Use it. <laughs> he has excellent qualities. I assume as he well. has exceeded mm. what I had first thought years ago. I thought I had seen a boy that wished for the best, but I found out that he was someone who wanted to be the best he could. And he has proved that ever since. And I am sure we will get along swimmingly, and I have much that I can impact upon him. Good. Thank you, Lady Amri. I look forward to learning. Then that is good. Something that From humble I will beginnings get out of, of a street rat to great aspirations, I think you have found a good fit, my lord. <laughs> I agree. Merit, not birth, as always. Mm. I will right. say. I want everyone to be able to relax and rest. You will not be pursued here or hunted. Tomorrow, however, I would like you, Lady Omri, to take it upon yourself to become my son's tutor in combat. Oh, God. If that is what you wish. It is. He has grown too used to myself, my style, my way of fighting. I would like him to be against someone completely new and fresh and skilled. I can assist in such things, so long as he's capable of getting up early and putting in the time. For you, I will. And we will not That's have the right answer. answer. I suspect he will do well. When everyone is back together and alive tomorrow, we will enter the war room and discuss what comes next. There's been a great deal of planning taking place, something I was only able to do with Sir Richter for the longest. The loss of... Sir Gregor hurt us a great deal, considering his skill sets. Mm. He was knowledgeable about being a ranger. I... Without him, I have had to solely rely upon my son, who is quite adept at ranger-like activities. Hmm... That will be very useful indeed. But I will tell you one thing, so you are aware of it, and it is not a shock tomorrow. One of these people on the fringes of our web, someone who I did not know very well nor completely trust, was exposed to a great deal of the secrets of myself and those whom I trusted. Three years later, now, he decided to divulge this information to someone that he believed would have been a help to this cause of survival. I had warned him before this ever took place. I told him not to, and I explained to it why. He was a boy. I had hoped, perhaps, discretion would have helped, but he did it again. The very long story short, it is very possible that a ship full of the Inquisition and men loyal to it might be coming to this province in the next 19 or so days. We have nowhere else to run. We are trying no, to take control of the province. Ah... Uh. I see. If we are able to pull the strings of the one in charge, either through acts of valor or something less scrupulous, though I detest it, 
we may be able to get them to turn away the Imperial ships rather than allowing them to dock. Not a lot of time to do it, but it's possible. That much I am certain of. There has been a great deal of progress. Uh, you it shall. It shall be done. We have people who work as couriers that are exposed to these messages. We have people involved in the Merchants Guild. Who hears what they talk about imports and exports. We have a contact in the Guard who has exposed the local corruption here because the Guards here cannot be trusted. At all. Mm. There's a lot on our plates. But we have the upper hand. Fine. But you both look exhausted. To avoid them, then. And as much as I want to be selfish and speak to you, you should get some rest. If there are things that need to be spoken about, rest can wait. But if that is your way of ushering us, I will not ignore it. Lady Omri, as much as I have missed both Crenshaw and one of my kin, I do need you to be arrested. There will be plenty will for I us tomorrow. Impact my teachings, <sighs> my son, if not well rested. My room's available. Because they start tomorrow, I'm sure, isn't that right? Either of you wish to rest in a bed. They absolutely shall. If you will all come upstairs. Of course. <clears throat> Lady Omri, you are a knight first. So obviously I have no issue. As my son had said, until we can get things changed around, you may use this bed, and my son will use the couch. Of course. That way I'm sure you will be up on time. That couch in there. Yes. Go on. Show her which drawers <clears throat> are empty and what she can use. <clears throat> My lady. It's I have a, not used my room in some time. A nice room. I try. I actually don't spend too much time in here. I see. Large for somebody that doesn't spend time in it. I uh, shared it with someone once. <laughs> as such, all of those drawers on that side are empty, as well as these two wardrobes. You can use at your disposal and at your discretion. I assure you, I only come with the cloak on my back and my jacket. I don't need all. It's there either way. Change begins now, my lord. Thank you. Changes now. We're here. It's good to see people from his side of things. You try to rest as well. There must be much to talk I... about tomorrow. And so you're also awake to, to hear expect. him alone once he gets his ass whooped. She's very good. I am. Uh, I cannot <laughs> wait. Pleased to I see that he has wait. somebody to invest in. How often does he fight against somebody with sword and shield? It's nice to meet you. To be honest, pleasure is all mine. Without getting too far into it. Rest assured, though, that just because you're his son does not mean me I will go easy on you tomorrow. There at the siege of Adler, at the siege of I expect nothing less. Many Again, I'm eager to learn. Good. Then it won't be terrible. You have a lot to live up to, then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, before I forget. I hope you don't snore. Two things. Yes. One. No. Do you? Ah. The house and the room. 
can't too. say I've ever been told. I don't exactly share quarters with anybody, let alone a man. Tribal effects. I'll uh, keep to my side of things then. Hmm. Conversation to tomorrow. Oh. You have a lot of books. I'll tell you huh. about it tomorrow. Doing my best to learn, become learned. I have a lot of time to make up for. I was getting worried it was a new hobby. I was only literate three years ago. Just carving, not bones. <sighs> I Seems wish you good night. And as a lord's son, you have a lot to catch up on. You as well. Exactly. Run off. I have been doing my best, but I... Well. It'll be good to have a teacher. <sighs> as I'm going to have to school you in more ways than just combat. Good night. Mm. I'm in for something, aren't I? This is gonna hurt. Oh, you have no idea. I can fucking sense it. It's only out of care and respect and service. Of course, many things. I cannot family. begin to tell you. Our family, my boy. This changes everything. I know it may seem small, but this changes everything. I just don't want to disappoint. <laughs> Crenshaw. <laughs> you will not disappoint. I feel like everything I do upsets her. <laughs> I'm already. That's her job. That is her job. Your training begins now, my boy. I was just getting you ready. Great. You still teach me the horse stuff, though. He is a knight. Yes. Good. She is a knight, a true knight, that has done nothing but be a knight. I see. That is why I trust her to be professional. And to also guard you in your sleep. You think I need guarding in my sleep? Everybody does at some point, my boy. I see. Don't need any of those bathhouse women sneaking into my son's bedroom. <sighs> I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Just my son. We don't. We don't have a war room, though. We just gonna like. Are you talking about the study? I can't. Say again. When you said war room, are you talking about the study? <laughs> You'll see tomorrow. Do we have a basement? Get some rest, my boy. Right. Okay. Get some rest. I'll be out and about for a bit. <sighs> Too giddy to sleep. <laughs>